All right, guys, today we are going to be talking about the only leather wallet, and for that matter, the only wallet that I trust, that I run, and that I use. And ultimately, we'll throw in a runner up and kind of talk about the wild world that is wallets. All right, guys, so first off, before we talk exactly about these wallets, I will just say this is my current go-to wallet right here, and this is an Open Seas Leather. Uh, this one is a top sider, and this is actually their top sider, gosh, quick draw, I believe it is, because it has this neat little feature in the back. So this is a top sider quick draw, but I have a few others we'll talk about. And let's talk about the wild world of wallets. So with wallets, I never thought I would come to this point of talking about them like this because it seems like such a no-brainer, such a simple, easy thing to carry. But truthfully speaking, the world of wallets is actually kind of insane in the EDC world and in the YouTube world as a whole because there are giants in the, the uh, wallet world, especially Ridge wallets, that work very hard to push their Chinese-made um, ultimately garbage out onto the world and they use youtube influencers obviously not myself exactly but um they use many of them to push these wallets out to make them seem good to make them seem great and to be completely honest in full disclosure ridge has offered me uh pretty sizable um collaborations or you know they want to collaborate with me for payments to promote their products. I have always said no, and I have always fer fervently denied them access, or at least promotion on my channel. And I will say too, uh, full disclosure about Open Seas, they do send me wallets, um, they do send me wallets for free, but it's always per request, and I do not get any money from them. And lastly too, I genuinely love running these wallets, as you guys can see here, uh, especially some of these guys, although my older ones, they are definitely worn and used. So I do not just sit here and say, Open Seas Leather is the best. Uh, I, they have been sent to me, but I do, honest to God, use these, uh, use the heck out of these leather wallets. Um, so there is that for starters. But aside from that, like I said, Companies like Ridge, they really go out of their way to kind of curate a sense of brand superiority, and they do work to actively silence creators on all platforms, uh, whether it be YouTube, Instagram, and other social media platforms. They have content copyright striked people for you know featuring their wallets in negative light. And anytime a company does that for me, I immediately write them off and that's why I don't work with Ridge and also personally too I think their wallets just suck um, the reason why is I'm not a huge fan of how hard the wallets are they're kind of similar to this little guy here which is this um, Travac Summit but the difference is they're a large bulky uh, wallet and they just they really they're not flexible they're not comfortable at all like I get that this does have cards in it and so it doesn't have super amounts of flex but being that it is leather it does flex so it's not a stiff rigid piece of metal or you know piece of aluminum in your pocket that's going to hurt you so anyways, that's uh, kind of my little rant about Ridge over. Um, definitely don't check out their wallets and don't support them because they are cheap Chinese made products. They suppress the truth about their products and they offer lots of money to content creators that um, will shill their products out there. Not necessarily saying that all content creators that promote the Ridge wallets are bad, but just be mindful don't support the rich wallets. So don't do it guys, it's a drop. Uh, okay, now with that rant over, let's talk about the wallets that I do love and why these are the wallet for me. So like I said, these are open seas and like I said, full disclosure, these have been sent to me for featuring, reviewing and testing, but I don't get any kickbacks from these. If you choose to buy an open seas leather wallet, I don't make any money off of it. I just genuinely like their products. I have liked their products for years and I run them very frequently. My first one was the cam, as you guys probably saw in EDC updates. This was a really cool wallet. I still really like it. It's a very low profile kind of card holder. As you guys can see, it can carry cash, but it doesn't usually carry cash super effectively. But uh, yeah, so this is the cam wallet itself. 
and uh, I also have the top siders. Of course, I have two top siders, and then I have the uh, gun deck, which is this guy right here. Now, I will say the gun deck is probably my least used, as you guys can probably see here. It's not super, super used, but I have very quickly come to love the top siders, and once again for me, I think it really just comes back to personal preference. I really like the capacity of the top siders very well, and so you can carry a lot of cards similar to the cam, but the difference between the cam and the top sider, sorry, the difference between the cam and the top sider is the fact that it also has a really generous area for you to put cash. So to kind of break it down, this is a top sider. So you can put cards here, you can put cards here, you can put cards here, and you can put cash in there. And it's pretty darn generous. Now, I've kind of gone over to their newer updated model of the quick draw. So essentially the quick draw is this guy, but with this added uh, panel in the back. So it's like a top sider with an added panel. And of course that panel allows you to put stuff like cards in the back. Now, unfortunately, you can't put too many cards in the back, but usually, as you guys can kind of see, what I do is I put my IDs in the back of this guy. So if I need to pull out my ID for whatever reason, um, it's quick accessible and uh, it's just right there. It also is kind of nice because having the cards, having my IDs back here, allows me to be able to have more room in the in the actual wallet for things like cash. I mean, the amount of cards hasn't really changed, but it allows me to carry more cash, um, hunting licenses, and different stuff like that. Um, so that's what I really like about the Top Sider. I think it's a really good fusion of both, you know, practical and like having enough room to carry everything and having enough organization to keep everything well organized. So like I was saying, the Top Sider is my personal go-to and has been for about a year and uh, really I don't see myself going back or really to anything else. As far as Open Seas Leather goes, these guys are awesome. Really the owner is a fantastic dude, really great to work with, and honestly the products stand up very well. You guys can see this guy is definitely, it looks pretty used, but it is, sells a ton of life in it, and he uses, I believe, if you remember correctly, it's Horween Leather, and it is just so soft, so supple, all of these wallets are just incredibly fun to, they're so soft, they're so supple, they're incredibly just nice to use. Like honestly, uh, as far as leather wallets go, most of the time you're dealing with like a hard uh, kind of leather, but this Horween leather is super well broken in and it's just super, super nice. Not to mention they do smell very amazing as well, but yeah, such pretty, pretty wallets and I do really love carrying, uh, carrying these wallets myself. Now I did say I was gonna talk about a runner up and if I had to replace my cam today, or sorry, my top sider today, I'd probably still go back to the cam, but if I didn't go back to the cam, it would definitely be the Travax Summit. Now this one has its little plate in front of it. This is the technical summit. And I carried the summit for a very long time. I really do like the Travax Summit um, for a compact card carrying wallet. But once again, it is kind of limited in the fact that, uh, you know, it really just carries cards. Now you can carry quite a few cards in this, but if you do have your little armor piece here, it does kind of take up about the size of one card, not to mention two, um, it does kind of limit. So, you know, this thing technically kind of has a limit by these folded pieces of steel. It's about how much you can carry. So once this little top piece of metal hits that limit, it will just slide out if you don't stop or you try to load more cards into it. So there is kind of that as a disadvantage to this. The other thing I will say about using a steel or metal wallet as a whole like this is the fact that you're going to notice that it will wear your cards out very fast unless you carry some titanium wallet or so unless you carry something like titanium credit cards like I do sometimes, um, you know, you will notice that this will wear out your cards, plastic cards faster. Anyways, guys, that's my spiel on wallets. As always, God bless, and I'm out.